Students always think life is happening elsewhere, so air students sometimes think it's happening in Glasgow, Glasgow students sometimes think it's happening in Edinburgh, Edinburgh, London, London, New York, Berlin. But we've really gone out of our way to remind students that actually life is happening where you are and you can make it that way. When I first arrived in Scotland about four years ago, um, I, I quite enjoyed it because um, I'm, I've, I've come from a tropical background so I'm, I'm used to a lot of heat and um, it was quite a good experience for me to come in such a pleasant atmosphere. I'm Charlotte, I come from France, the house of the France, Marseille, and I'm studying chemistry in third year in UWS. During the fresher week, every night I think, during one week there is some parties and it's really um, a place to go if you want to meet people and to talk to people and to have good beers in some pool. <laughs> you can be a part of of so many societies. I'm, I'm a part of anime society because <laughs> I do like anime, but there, because there's so many stuff to do here. So whenever you go to the Union, it's always really busy and it's a good place to hang out at. Hey, I'm Melina, I'm doing commercial music and I'm on the air campus. I didn't really know what to expect because I was coming from a foreign country and I literally just flew here, took the train. I found it really helpful that I moved to halls because you make friends so much quicker here. The facilities are quite nice and the halls are really, like the rooms are really nice and I felt like I was walking to a hotel really. It's really really nice to have that wee community and I feel like Scottish people are quite chatty so it's easy to make friends here. So that's been really good. We're close to, very close to Glasgow, I mean we go up quite a lot, but then even in air, particularly in halls like first year, there's so, such a close community of people, I mean you're, in halls you're never bored, there's always someone up. Air is kind of, it's quite a relaxed place and there's plenty of shops and the social life is really good, really cheap, really cheap. We go to the beach quite a lot, it's really really nice, especially if it's sunny and it's not that windy. Here at Air Campus, we're um, in a lovely Riverside location um, within the park um, of Craigie and it's an ideal setting to make use of in relation to outdoor learning which is um, one of the, the sort of key aspects of Curriculum for Excellence. My name is Julie Orr, I'm a lecturer at Dumfries Campus. The project is the Fitness Intervention Task Force. It is a project that was initiated um, two years ago and as health educators we thought is there anything we can do to try and um, raise uh, physical activity awareness in our student nurses and in our local population. So we used a kind of two-pronged effect uh, where we wanted to take the senior students, the year three students, and, and ask them to go out into the community and promote physical activity. At the same time, we recruited um, volunteers called physical exercise champions in first year, and their, their role was to promote exercise to their peers, so to student nurses and to staff and everybody. So we're trying to attack it from kind of both sides. Hello, my name is Chikumelo Karuma. I'm studying civil engineering here at the University of the West of Scotland, the Paisley campus, and I'm in my fourth year. The best thing I like about the Paisley campus is uh, my residence. When I go into the residence, I got a, a pack, and inside the pack, I got a sim, which was really good because immediately I could uh, call my family and tell them, oh, yeah, I'm here in Paisley. And, and they were like, oh, that's good. I really like the location of the campus as well because there's a lot of stuff to do in Paisley and it's a great town um, but also it's uh, 10 minutes in the train from Glasgow and I think um, I quite like the balance because you're not right in the middle of the city centre but you can get there um, quickly if you want to. The Hamilton Union is where I've met most of my friends this year. And just for, that's from day one, they had events going on for freshers, so like two weeks worth of um, events where you get to meet people who are studying here. 
moving up here and going into halls is just you're instantly put in front of I mean what is it 200 other students that are going through the same thing as you so it's really nice you know just to you can communicate with them and everyone's in the same boat so you all just start to mingle and stuff and I made some really seriously good friends through that and like which has helped me even with my studies and stuff. I think it's an idyllic place to like study and it's a nice change and then you transport what you create here and take it to somewhere exciting in Glasgow. It's really nice to have both. My boyfriend lives in Ireland as well so it's 10 minutes in a taxi up the road to Presswick Airport and I can be in Ireland within the hour. I, I travelled a lot in Scotland in my first two years when I came to Scotland to up north I travelled a lot to Fort William, Aberfoyle and um, Highlands, Loch Lomond and stuff as one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been in my life. I'm Callum Andrews, I'm a currently studying sports development in year three in Hamilton campus UWS and I'm also the team leader of the guides and buddies over in Hamilton as well. The Buddy Project is a, uh, a project set up um, for new students to come into the university that don't know a lot about the university and it allows us, it's able to pair them up with an experienced student who in this case is a buddy. It allows them to get a common ground, it allows them somebody they know. Personally what I get out of doing it is you get to meet more people. You, you personally get to learn more about the university as the new student may teach you something. Life in Scotland has been good, it's been really really good. Yeah, I say I totally enjoyed it. You, you probably wouldn't have like, um, I probably wouldn't have guessed that it would be so good. 